Hi everyone, my name is Joe Rolfe. I'm an organic farmer, uh, AKA Farmer Joe. Uh, I live and farm in North Norfolk and specialize in organic vegetable production. You join me today on a crisp autumnal but sunny day in November. Uh, and I'd like to take this opportunity to very quickly talk to you about soil health and how we manage soil on the farm in the face of an ever-changing climate. The way that we farm, um, the rotation that we're part of and why I believe that the way that we farm hopefully is part of the answer to tackling some of the climate challenges that we've got, uh, not in the future but right here and now uh, and why I, I genuinely passionately believe that um, yeah, what we're doing is, is having a real impact on the environment that we farm in. So rotation is quite an old fashioned term, um, but for me it's really important in terms of how we manage soil um, and improve soil health. So what we're trying to create on the farm is almost like a, a blueprint for sustainable agriculture. Um, and by that what I'm talking about is essentially building soil health, putting more in than out. And I'm just going to explain a little bit now about some of the practices that we implore on the farm um, to achieve a, a good soil health. We don't grow or have um, production on a field of any one thing for more than one year every seven or eight, sometimes even up to ten years. So for example I'm stood in a field of carrots now um, and, and once we've harvested these this year we wouldn't expect to come back into the field for a minimum of another seven years. So. For the next six years, we would have a different crop um, in, in situ. Um, the reason for that, one is so that we are able to give the land a bit of a break. And we're then able to put other crops into the soil, which hopefully are going to help uh, build the soil organic matter. It's also to make sure that we don't create monocultures where things like pests and disease become a really big problem for us. So we try and sort of break those life cycles. We have cover crops on the farm. Um, you may have heard of the term cover crop, but essentially what that means is um, when we finish with, let's say, a field of carrots, so we harvest the carrots in September, um, it gives us enough time to plant another crop in the ground which we can leave over winter. Um, and by doing that, there's several benefits to soil. One is that um, it prevents soil erosion. It helps um, hold on to the nutrients in the soil. It also suppresses weeds, which is very important in an organic farming system, um, and then fixes nitrogen into the soil as well. So one of the, uh, the most important reasons for having livestock in the estate is one, it helps with the diversity um, and also the profitability of the farm. Um, but when it comes to rotation and the impact on soil, provided you get the densities right, so that's how many cows you have in a field per metre squared, so uh, obviously the manure that comes from those animals is, is put back onto the fields um, and that, that ultimately goes into the soil um, and creates soil organic matter. So soil organic matter is essentially soil itself, so it's the formulation of soil um, and it helps us to build that. Um, and by building a sort of more healthy, fertile soil, um, it also builds resilience into those soils. So, when I talk about resilience and climate change in particular and, and, and where the two things are joined up, having resilience in soils is so, so key when you think about the, the changing weather patterns and systems that we have. So, you know, the last few years we've had some really odd weather patterns. We've had long dry periods in the summer followed by huge deluges of rain. We've had longer, wetter but warmer winters, um, but by having Having these healthy, living, vibrant soils is so, so key in meaning that we're able to continue to produce food for us all to eat and enjoy, uh, even when that's happening. Ultimately, and most critically for me, it's about doing it in a way that isn't damaging to the environment. And it's very much about working in partnership with nature. Um, and that's something that we're gonna continue to work on and improve as, as, as time goes on. So thank you for, for listening. It's been short, sharp and sweet, but I hope you've enjoyed and uh, I'll speak to you soon. Take care.